Hello, girls and gays. I'm Brody Rose Gaming, and welcome to my channel. Today is the start of a new series on my channel called Gay Smite Lore. I'm going to be diving deep into the gayest stories involving the gods and goddesses of Smite. Gay history is Smite history. And with hi -res recently adding many LGBT flags to Smite, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to start this series. The series is called Gay Smite Lore, and I use that term colloquially to refer to the LGBT community at whole, and not just gay men. Today's episode, we are going to start with one of the gayest gods in mythology. The god of music and the sun. The twink, Apollo. Apollo has had many same-sex consorts in Greek mythology, and I'm here to tell you about some of my favorite stories that involve Apollo. Apollo is considered by many to be the patron of same-sex love. He's had many male lovers and was also invoked to bless same-sex unions. I know I'm definitely going to try to get Apollo to bless my wedding. Our first story is about a young man named Bronchus. Bronchus was a shepherd who was born in a very unusual way though not as unusual as some other gods in Greek mythology. When Bronchus' mother was giving birth, she had a vision of the sun coming into her mouth, traveling into her uterus and out her vagina. Thus, Bronchus was born, blessed with the light of the sun, and, we know, Apollo is the god of the sun. So, blessed with the rays of light from one of the most attractive gods in Greece, Bronchus grew up to be a very attractive man as well. He was described to be the most handsome of men. And our boy Apollo sure loves handsome men. One day, Bronchus came across the god of the sun in the woods. Bronchus was taken aback by the beauty of Apollo. He couldn't believe his eyes. He was staring at perfection. And without a second thought, he went up to the sun deity and gave him a big gay smooch. Apollo, also very attracted to this similarly handsome man, embraced Bronchus and kissed him back. Apollo loved and lusted after the handsome Bronchus, so much so that he gifted Bronchus with a crown and a magical staff. Apollo used his godly powers to turn the simple shepherd into a prophet. Using this prophetic gift given to him by the god, Bronchus decided to become a priest of Apollo and ended up forming a cult of Apollo. Imagine the sex being so good that you start a cult. Eventually, Bronchus disappeared. Apollo loved and missed his cutie, so he had an altar built on the place where they first kissed. Get you a man who will do that for you. Probably one of the most famous of Apollo's male lovers, however, is Hyacinth. Hyacinth was a Spartan prince who, like Bronchus, was considered by many to be the most beautiful man in all the land. He was gorgeous, and because of that, many people wanted him. Hyacinth caught the attention of Zephyrus, god of the west wind, Boreas, god of the north wind, and Thamaris, god of none of the winds, as he was just a mortal. Hyacinth, living every gay man's dream, was admired by so many men, but he chose one over all others. He chose the sun god, Apollo. Apollo showed Hyacinth things that he had never seen. Hyacinth was so amazed by Apollo, and Apollo was amazed by Hyacinth. Apollo shared his beautiful music with Hyacinth. He shared dove-drawn chariot rides with him across the skies. This is enough to win over any man. One day, Apollo and Hyacinth were enjoying some time in the beautiful outdoors. They decided to play a game of discus. Zephyrus, jealous, saw the two playing and decided to intervene. When Apollo threw the discus, Zephyrus used his powers and manipulated the wind and threw the discus off course, eventually striking Hyacinth in the back of the head fatally wounding the young prince. Apollo was devastated. He did everything in his power and used all of his healing magics to try to heal Hyacinth, but it was too late. There was nothing Apollo could do. He had lost his lover. Emotionally wounded, Apollo used the blood that is spilled from his lover's head onto the ground to create a flower of the same name. He dedicated this beautiful flower to the most beautiful man he knew. Hyacinth. Apollo also had many other male lovers, like Atimnus, Boreas, Helenus, Lapis, etc. Mans was gay as hell. The love he shared with other men have inspired LGBTQ folks for centuries. 
and he will continue being a gay icon for years to come. Thank you all for watching. This has been Gay Smite Lore with your favorite gay smite player, Brody Rose. If you liked this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment down below which gay myths I should cover in the next episode of Gay Smite Lore. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch where I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evening. Maybe we could play a game or two together. Thank you for watching, and stay gay, everyone.